Hey guys, we have here the JLab Crusher XL. And in this video, we want to explain to you how to replace the battery of this Bluetooth speaker. Okay, so we start out by removing all of those screws that you see here on the outside of the speaker. And we need here a Torx bit. And the size is here T8, that's the one that you need. And we have a whole bunch of screws that we need to remove first on both sides. So we're looking at eight screws at the front and six more screws on the back side. And once you've removed all those, then we can remove these brackets here. You see those, there's four brackets, one on each corner, and they're pretty difficult to get out at first. And what we have to do is kind of pry them out. So first we pry them towards the front here, just a little bit, and then we can remove it completely. See, it's the first time you do this, this is uh, pretty tight. Uh, but uh, eventually you get a hang of it on how to get those out. Okay, so now at this point we can already remove the front plate here. We can put this to the side. And then in order to remove the plate on the back side, we have to remove two more screws. Those are here Phillips screws, small ones. You see here right behind the dust cover. So let's remove those and then I'm using here an old pocket knife to pry out this piece of plastic. And then you will find out that this dust cover is still attached here. But it's really easy to remove, you just pull on it a little bit firmer and it will pop off. So this is not screwed on or anything. So now we have removed both plates and then we can remove the rubber ring here that goes all around the speaker. So let's peel that off. And then we find here a couple of stickers uh, all around the speaker. Here one on the one side and then there's a Another sticker, well it's more like a piece of plastic, clear plastic that's right on top of here, that's glued on. And there's some double sided tape here that we have to uh, cut into. You see this button panel here that we can take out, uh, but first we have to cut through that tape. Just cut all around it. And then we can pry this piece of plastic out. So be careful when you do that because there's a PCB board right underneath so you don't accidentally want to ruin that board with whatever tool you use to pry out this piece of plastic. Here, as I said, here's already the PCB so we have to remove this now and there's four more small Phillips screws that hold that board down and then we have to be careful when we remove the board because there are still wires attached. First these two small wires that you see on the top, this black one and the red one. And then there's more wires to the speakers and to the battery. Luckily the speakers and the battery we can just remove the connector here. So in case you forget which connector goes where, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you later on where what uh, connector goes. Okay, so next we're going to take a look at the front side. You already see here I put a bunch of holes in there. And underneath each hole that's where you're going to find another Phillips screw. And you have to take all of those out. So there's a number of uh, nine screws in there, I believe. Okay, so and now at this point we can already pry open the two sides here of the speaker. To be honest, this is not easy, so you need a lot of force in order to pry it open. Maybe you should uh, detach the uh, hot glue that you see here where the wires are first, so that may help. But eventually you're going to get this open up. And that's then where we finally find the battery. So you can see here this big blue block here. So let's take a look at this. As you can see, these are two 18650 batteries, 7.4 volts. I'm going to place a link in the comment section below in case you have a hard time finding these. So the replacement that I found has a little bit different connector, uh, but we can just really easily reuse the same connector of the defective battery. So in order to install the new battery, we just squeeze it here right into the uh, backside of the cover. See, this is where the passive radiators are, right into that gap, and then we feed the wires here through so that they don't get pinched when we close the uh, two pieces together again. Put all the nine screws back in here, and then it's already time to wire up the speakers again. So when we look at the board from this direction, then the cables furthest to the left, those go under the bottom left connector. Then the one in the middle, the white one goes on the top. Then the red one from the center, that's the battery. And of course we put this, plug this here into the red port. And then the furthest to the right, those wires those go into the uh, port on the bottom. I should have connected that one first. 
before I uh, connect the battery again. Then don't forget about the four screws that hold down the board. And then install the cover back again, make sure to use the uh, correct orientation. It's really simple, you can't really do it wrong, there's some uh, tabs in there that prevent you to, from installing it the wrong way. Then we should still have this clear piece of plastic that goes right on top of it. And then next we have here this rubber sleeve again of course. Make sure to install it the right way, so the uh, buttons are where the buttons are, and then also right now we're looking at the back side of the speaker. And in this case here, the on-off button is on the right side. Okay, so then I'm going to continue to install the back plate here. Make sure to have it the right orientation. You can see by looking at these little noses here on the corners, uh, which the right way is. So I'm going to place this in here, put the uh, six screws back in. And then we reinstall the dust cover. So we have to put the rubber and squeeze it maybe with a screwdriver right into that hole there, it's really hard to see. We just squeeze it in there, and it's a little bit finicky. So I think it's easier to do that without the uh, plastic piece, and you have a little bit more room to work with. See this, and we can also see now better in the video. You just take your screwdriver and squeeze it in there. And once you've installed it, you have it somewhat in there, then you can uh, put that little plastic bracket and uh, put that around it again. And of course, don't forget the two small Phillips screws that go on the sides there. Those are the black screws. All other Phillips screws are silver, I believe. Then let's continue with installing the front plate too. Of course, here we have the eight screws. So that's done really easy. It works the same way as the back side. And then the last step is to install the brackets. So we have four of them. And we do this by first putting them on, on the one side and then on the opposite side we have to lift them up a little bit again in order to get them into the right position. Okay, so now we just repeat this step with the other three corners and then we are already done. And I hope you found this video helpful. And in case you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.